Dr. Wright, a couple of fast, quick questions here, sir, ma'am. <laughs> During your training, when there was a problem, how did you respond? Do you weep? Why doesn't anybody ask Rick those questions? <laughs> when I was a little girl, I always dreamed of flying in space. As rookies in the astronaut corps, none of us knew what was about to happen to us. I was concerned I might not be able to keep up. Sally's back there going, wee! <laughs> she loved that it was very challenging to learn. Therefore, if you learned it, you were hot stuff. Women astronauts, are you kidding me? They hadn't paid their dues like we had. Tell me, is there anybody here at NASA who is still unconvinced that women have a place in the space program? I think there are a few people that are that are waiting to see how I do. Let me let me put it that way. Main engine start and lift off. We have America's first woman astronaut. Houston, you're loud and clear now. She was the most famous person on Earth for a while. It was really hard because she was very private. Dr. Sally Ride. Sally Ride. Sally K. Ride. Sally risked everything to make history. But telling the world about us was a risk she just couldn't take. Could you tell me who you were to Sally? I was her life partner for 27 years. Sally would send these notes to me. I decided to tackle the problem of red plus green equals yellow. She actually did the math. Isn't physics wonderful? You sure are. Love the mad physicist. It's time people realize women in this country can do any job that they want to do. She proved it. Done. If more little girls grew up with an interest in science like we did, the world would be a better place. Space changed for all time when Sally went up. I really dreamed of getting a chance to go into space. And unbelievably, that dream came true.